This is my $200 Dell Optiplex 9020 that I built myself. And in today's video, I'm going to be optimizing this thing until we can get max FPS in Fortnite. But the specs on this PC are not that bad. We're rocking with 5090, a Ryzen Threadripper. We're rocking a 1050 Ti, an i7-4770, 16GB of DDR3 RAM, and a 1TB SSD. This is how much FPS I got before optimizing it, which is not too bad at all. And then I'm going to be using Hypertune to optimize this thing. First thing that we're really going to start off with is just my, and not, I mean, Epic Game Settings right over here. And the first thing that you have to do is just go to your game, Fortnite, and then we cook Options, High Resolution Textures. You want to turn that off if you uh, don't have DirectX 12. If you're using like an Nvidia GPU, you should turn this off. But next thing you should do is pre-download assets. Even though it's closer to 10 gigabytes, it will make sure that whenever you're into the game, whenever you load into Fortnite, everything will be preloaded and it wouldn't have a lot of stress on your GPU, CPU, and drive. Once you've done that, you just wanna press apply. And then it's just doing all that type of stuff. Search up game mode, and then it's gonna take you to over here. You wanna turn on game mode. As you guys can see over here, when game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play. After that, you wanna turn off game bar, cause unless you're recording some videos, it's just gonna be, it's gonna run in the background for no reason. After that, you wanna go to your graphic settings, and then you wanna put hardware and acceleration. You wanna turn this on. Now for the next thing that we're going to do is if you have an NVIDIA uh, GPU like I do with the 1050 Ti, you want to open up your control panel. Now that this thing is open, you just want to click the first thing over here, adjust image settings or preview. And then you want to have this thing checked on. Use advanced 3D image settings. You want to have this on. over. And then you want to go to display. You want to go to advanced display options and you want to make sure that it's on the highest refresh rate. I have 75 hertz, but it's not going to show 75 hertz. I don't know why. If you know, comment down below. But yeah. And one last window setting is you want to go to your power settings. Additional power settings over here. And then you want to make sure that this thing is on high performance. And speaking of this, if you want more performance, you can just go to your command prompt over here and you want to run it as administrator. And then you just want to copy and paste this prompt right over here i will make it so that you have this ultimate performance setting and provides more performance for your pc and uses a lot more energy and now that we're back onto the nvidia control panel you just want to press take me here over here and now we're there's a lot of options over here so we're gonna scroll down to low latency mode and we're gonna turn this on to ultra if you're on a pc that's super duper trash please put it on ultra because it will help your PC out. But if your PC is good enough, you can just keep it on. After that, you wanna go down a little bit over here and then you're gonna see that your power management mode, you wanna keep that to perform maximum performance. All those optimizations that we did for the power management settings will not go to waste. For the last thing is the texture filtering quality. You wanna put that onto high performance. Once you're done with that, you just wanna press apply. And just like that, we're good to go. And right now I'm just gonna do a full system scan. Now that we have this thing on, as you guys can see, or can hear, I should say, it's making all the stuff in my PC sound loud and spin. It's just checking the hardware to see if there's anything wrong with it. It's not gonna spin your GPU though, it's just gonna spin your fans. While that's being done, I'm actually gonna open up Hypertune. This is what I use personally. So I'm gonna go over here and scan for any stuff over here. The last time I did it was six days ago. I think you guys should use this. I'm not sponsor or anything, but I think this is a great tweaking utility. You can see over here, we have two gigabytes that we can clean. Clean that up real fast. This thing has done our Dell support assist and that also cleaned up four gigabytes. So in all, we saved six gigabytes of storage and restart our PC. Now that the PC is done restarting, we're actually gonna open up Fortnite now and we're gonna check how much FPS we get in game now. Now that we're in the game, we're actually gonna uncap our fps to see how much fps we get in game we are in the game and it looks like we're not that laggy actually but since it's the new season sometimes fortnite is a little bit buggy but i think this pc will be able to handle this thing easily now. all right so looking up into the battle bus we're getting around 300 fps i'm seeing a little bit 
but dropping down it's not that bad it's kind of stuttering a little bit but it's so much better than last time guys but in a second i'm just gonna cap this because i'm not trying to make my pc lag and if you need help with tweaking your pc and all that type of stuff i do have a discord server i'm gonna link it down in the description in this video there's people that tweak your pcs for you we have pro tweakers and all that we're getting random lag spikes fortnite is just becoming more intense day by day Nice aim, bud. I'm lagging for no reason, guys. There are so many kids here. No, we need a heal. All right, that was the end of the video. I'm not gonna lie, those tweaks actually help. Use them for your PC and let me know what you guys think. Do make sure to like and subscribe. And I just dropped a new channel. Help you guys like small creators and stuff. If you want to learn more, join the Discord server, but I'm going to leave the link down in the description of this video. But with that being said, God bless, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.